It may be convenient to replace the lights in your home with the same old bulbs, but some of those bulbs won't be available for much longer. Nick, you've got to look at some of the uh, other choices in today's Angie's List. Well, you know, if your house is full of light bulbs, even Thomas Edison would recognize it's probably time for an update. Manufacturers have been reducing their production of incandescent bulbs for years, and soon it's going to be hard to find them. So in today's Angie's List report, we look at some different options to bring you out of the dark ages, but still light up your home. It's tempting to keep replacing low-cost, incandescent, or compact fluorescent lights with the same bulbs, but it's also short-sighted. Both are on the way out. You hear stories both ways. Uh, I think eventually they're going to go away. The CFLs, I believe, are going to go away as well because the technology's just not there. They didn't keep up with the LEDs. LED stands for light emitting diodes. They've been around for decades, but earlier versions were pricey and often had a blue hue that kept them from being a household staple. Not so anymore. LED lights give off a warm glow, just like an incandescent light bulb now. Also, the price of LED lights have come down considerably over the last couple of years. These two changes have led more consumers to invest in LED lights because it's better in the long run. Another benefit is the long run an LED can have after installation. They can last 50,000 hours, going several years without being replaced. A lot of homes now have ceilings that are 20, 30 feet tall and... Uh, Dragging a ladder out every time an incandescent lamp goes out is just a pain in the butt. So this is something that you're not going to have to worry about. Wells says most homeowners now want LEDs inside recess cans for their living room, their family room, and their kitchen. And they can be stylish, not just functional. Over a kitchen, I recommend uh, some pendant lights with the LED lamps in there. Just because of the halogen lamps, they just burn too hot and you go through them too fast. Angie recommends using a licensed electrician if you decide to replace old fixtures with new LED lighting. Installing recess cans will cost you about $140 a piece, and you should check with your local power companies to see if any rebates are available for that.